What's up guys, Danny Line, I'm back with another CSR2 video. Today we are going to recommend the best cars to use for Tempest 1, Tempest 2, and Tempest 3. We're going to talk about the best tier 1 cars, the best tier 2 cars, the best tier 3 cars, the best tier 4 cars, and the best tier 5 cars. When it comes to tier 1 for Tempest 1 and Tempest 2, the Volkswagen GTI is hands down the best car you're going to use. It's easy to get. It's easy to max out. You can buy these and strip these to keep dropping Volkswagen parts until you max it out. And But bam, this will beat Tempest 1 and Tempest 2. No problem. Now, unfortunately for Tempest 3, once you get to Tempest 3, they're going to give you the Mazda MX-5 Miata for free. And they're going to force you to use this, which is a little bit of a pain. So you are forced to use this for Tempest 3, but Tempest 1 and Tempest 2, I'm telling you right now, use the GTI. Now, when you get to Tempest 2 for the 718 Boxster S, this little Porsche will beat those no problem. This is hands down my favorite choice because it's pretty easy to get. You're either going to pull one of these out of a crate with stars, or you can go into the dealership and buy one of these with gold. Uh, Porsche parts are not really that hard to get, so this is a great choice in my opinion. This is my number one hands down first choice. Now, of course, if you get the one with stars, that's even better, but the one without stars should be able to do the job just fine. Now, if you happen to get the Rocket Bunny MX-5 Miata, this car will beat Tempest 1, Tempest 2, and Tempest 3 on Stage 5 parts only. You won't even need any Stage 6. Unfortunately, this car is not easy to get, so you're probably not going to have this one if you're a newer player, but if you do happen to pull this out of a crate, this is the absolute best choice out there. Another car I'm going to recommend for Tempest 1 and Tempest 2 would be the 250 GTO. Only thing is you got to restore this. You got to put a bunch of elite upgrades on this and stuff like that to make it fast enough. So I don't really recommend it. But if you happen to have this car and you've got enough parts on it, this car will work. But yeah, I would go with the Boxster or the Miata if possible. All right, so when it comes to tier three, this car right here will beat Tempest 1 and Tempest 2, the Mustang GT Premium. You can go into the dealership, you can buy this, and you can keep buying these and stripping these to get parts for the car. Next thing you know, this car will be fast enough to beat Tempest 1 and Tempest 2. Now, when you get to Tempest 3, I'm going to recommend a different car, but you're actually going to use this car to win the next car. So for Tempest 3, I highly recommend Amelia's LBM4 Coupe. This is one of the boss cars, so you're going to use that last car to win this one. And once you get this, you can go into the dealership and you can start buying and stripping the BMW M4s. And that's going to drop fusion parts and stage 6 parts that you can install on this car. And this car is awesome. You do have to have it almost completely maxed out, but I highly recommend this car all right, when it comes to Tempest Tier 4, it gets a little hard, especially on Tempest 3. The Nissan GTR and Attack Package is one of my recommended cars. Do not get this confused with KJ's that looks almost exactly the same. The KJ's car is terrible. The N Attack Package is awesome. They look the same, but they are not the same car. So if you happen to have this, I highly recommend using this one for Tempest 1, Tempest 2, and especially Tempest 3. This is one of the few cars that can get through Tempest 3 without having to change cars. Problem with Tempest 3 Tier 4 is you got to get a car that do 0 to 60 in like 1.3 something. It's also got to do over 260 miles per hour plus run fast enough to beat the boss. Most Tier 4 cars cannot do all three of those and then you have to change cars. This is one of those cars that can do it and this car is just all around awesome. Now, two other cars that I do recommend are Elite Tuners cars. There's the Subaru WRX STI and the Mitsubishi Lancer. Those are both Elite Tuners cars, and both of those are capable of beating Tempest 1, Tempest 2, and Tempest 3 with enough parts installed, but you do have to get a whole bunch of those Elite tokens to make these fast enough. So these cars are a little bit harder to use just for that fact, but if you get enough upgrades on the two Tier 4 Elite Tuners cars, the Lancer and the WRX, you will be just fine. Now, if you need to start doing it right now, if you don't have the other cars I mentioned, the 2015 Nissan GTR R35 Premium, you can go into the dealership and you can buy this and you can keep buying and stripping, buying and stripping, buying and stripping. This car will beat Tempest 1 and this car will beat Tempest 2, but I don't think it's going to beat Tempest 3. You're probably going to have to buy and strip like 30 or 40 of these. I'm just taking a guess. So it's going to be a very resource heavy thing to do that or 
Another thing you can do to get parts for these cars I'm mentioning, go into Rare Imports, click on the little parts tab, and you're going to see whatever car you're currently in, you're going to see parts for that car that you can use your bronze keys to pull. So whatever car you're currently in, the parts tab will have uh, parts for that car. Now when it comes to tier 5, you're probably going to be tempted to use this for Tempest 1, Tempest 2, and Tempest 3, but I don't necessarily recommend that. I would probably run Tempest 1 and Tempest 2 with this car because you do get this car for free. It is an awesome car, but you really want to make this car elite. When you get to the third elite license, I would use this car because this car makes a lot of respect points and you want to win live races with this car when it's got that RP boost when you make it elite to get even more respect points. So if you've got this car and you've got it upgraded, I do recommend this for Tempest 1 and Tempest 2, but for Tempest 3... The majority of decent to good tier 5 cars will be all of the bosses, no problem. So unless you're running one of the really lousy tier 5 cars, you're going to get through it no problem as long as you have enough parts installed. But let's talk a little more about what you need to do to accomplish that. You're going to have to have a car that runs faster than 9 seconds. The boss is going to run 9 seconds. The car has to do over 260 miles per hour, which is easy for the majority of tier 5 cars. And then you're going to have a, a 0 to 100 race. So the car is going to have to do 0 to 100 in like 2.4 or faster. So if you have a car that can do those three things, beat those three times, you can do it no problem. The thing is, most tier 5 cars in the game, if you have enough parts, can do it unless you're running one of the really crappy tier 5 cars like... You know, Larry's car or KJ's Nismo or, or whatever. Like, KJ's is not tier 5, but you know what I mean. But any decent tier 5 car with enough parts installed will beat the last boss and you will win the Sesto Elemento. So just find a tier 5 car that has good top speed, good acceleration, and runs faster than 9.0 and you're good to go. One thing you need to remember is these Tempest races will not disappear from your map, so you have all the time in the world to do these. Do not be in a big hurry. Wait till you have cars fast enough, then lock them in, then go do the races. Now, when I did Tempest 1 and Tempest 2, I busted out those in the first couple months I was playing, but Tempest 3, I didn't have a Tier 5 car fast enough, so I waited around about 8 months later. I'm like, hey, this car is fast enough, so I went and run it and finished it. So, don't be in a hurry, guys. You got all the time you need to finish these Tempest races. If you don't have cars fast enough yet, just put it on the back burner and come back to it when you do have cars fast enough. This is one of those games that either requires a lot of patience or a big giant wallet. So if you don't have a big giant wallet, just be patient, play the game, have fun, enjoy it, and eventually you'll be able to get through the rest of the stuff. So those are my main recommendations for Tempest 1, Tempest 2, and Tempest 3. I think if you follow this little guide here and use these cars, your life will probably be a lot easier. But like I said, just take your time, wait till you get the cars, wait till the cars are fast enough, don't be in a big hurry, and then just come back to it when you're ready. There are a lot of other cars in this game that are capable of beating the bosses and getting through Tempest, but a lot of these cars are extremely hard to get. So I'm trying to find cars that are not super hard to get that most people can do. That way you're not sitting there waiting for specific cars because you can get these ones easily and they will work. Or at least you can get most of these ones easily. Alright, I think that's going to wrap this video up. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are all amazing. Check out the video's description for some ways to help support the channel. Or down below the videos, there's a thank you button or the join button. There's also some game news and info down there in the description. So you might want to drop that down. Check that stuff out. Check out the Danny Lightning merch store to get some cool Danny Lightning gear and who knows what. But hey, thank you guys for watching. You guys are amazing. Lightning out. Have an awesome day. See ya.